Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. And we're here talking to the mayor again. Uh, and I think this is new. Remember when the town was first built? I don't know. Was I around back then? Scuttletown used to sit on that smaller cove. The one where you live. Okay. But as it got larger, we had to tear down and begin anew. Now your lighthouse is all that's left. Oh. That's why it looks different. I guess we get an in-game explanation. I used to eat three lobster tails at every meal. How I miss those days. <sighs> I, yes, but you better pay me well for those. Thanks, have a hundred gems. Eh, is that well? I don't know. I mean, I had a few, but these are obviously the best healing items and not exactly all that common. So, I don't know. Three of those for a hundred. I'm probably not going to do that anymore. But, well, at least it wasn't even less than he paid me before. So that would have been really bad. Also, I was going to actually talk to everyone in town again, just uh, because I haven't really been doing that in between every, you know, major, every, every dungeon or every island. And they probably have had new dialogue. I don't recall much about genies. They all vanished without a trace some years back. When I grow up, I'm going to be a relic hunter. Relic hunter. Hunger. Right. Nice flat wall. I bash into it. That way, treats might drop on me. And bash is being highlighted, so I think that's a move that I just don't have yet. It's actually called bash. Some older girls just pass through here. They kind of smell like ham and lummox drool. Mm -hmm. I know those. Nice scimitar. Oh, thanks. Could you probably you could probably use it to pierce deep into zombie graves. Oh yeah. See, this is where the game gives you all these hints. And I have not been paying attention to these at all. Yeah, that'll work. Of course. Why wouldn't it? That's exactly how I use scimitars. Wait. Ah, there we go. Who made those clothes anyway? I remember you back before the vest. When the black pants were on the inside. Uh, I don't specifically remember those uh, sprites from earlier, but it's probably true. There used to be three hardcore gamers around these parts. Each was a whiz at dice rolling and gecko racing. Uh, yep. I consumed their lives until one day, poof, it consumed their lives, well. And until one day, poof, gone. Hmm. I know those as well. Cannot talk to those guys who are hard at work. I heard a scratching sound coming from beneath the palace. There's something besides rats in that sewer. Oh? Oh, really? The sewer, you say? Is there a spot where I could maybe dig into? I'm, I'm assuming that the NPCs give you the hints about the current state of the game um, and things that you can do with your current set of abilities. I mean, so far it seems like they have been, so maybe? More about zombies? Well, I know that wild zombies eat brains. And the tame zombies, the ones that travel in wagons, they drink coffee to stay sane. But I have no idea how they got that way. Hmm, probably because brains are kind of hard to come by, and people kind of get mad when you try to eat their brains, typically. It just causes problems. The forest nearby has a very tall tree on the west side. It's true, it's so dark it's hard to tell what's up there. Mm, actually, it's not that hard. There's a squid. Yeah, but I'm not sure if I can actually get that one, so... Hmm. Welcome to Scuttletown, friend. Uh, yeah. Except I was leaving. Uh, leaving. Hmm, I was thinking about maybe spending the money I have right now, but... Maybe not? Uh, because it's only 300 for the final attack speed upgrade, right? And I'm already attacking pretty fast. I mean, uh, sure though, I'd, uh, I'd, I'd like to have even better speed. So maybe I'm just gonna save for that. Well, I mean, I'm not really sure if I can do anything new in the sewer, but I mean, I did get that hint about it. And I certainly didn't find anything besides... Well, I, I found something besides rats, actually. In fact, there was mostly snakes down there, but... You know. uh, I'm still going to investigate, um, get to make my way there, and I'm on the way there I'm also going to try a few things perhaps and see if I can reach that squid in the tree, um, and I'll report my findings in a moment. Okay, so I've been to the sewer again and I didn't find anything that I hadn't found before. Oh god, that, hmm, that didn't work. <laughs> yeah, I didn't find anything down there. I checked pretty thoroughly every single screen, and I don't know, there are 
didn't there wasn't anything that looked like it would be breakable floor for example or breakable walls and yeah so i don't know <laughs> if that hint was actually about something or maybe i don't know what what it could have been about honestly scratching sounds from the sewer something beside rats there is a single rat in the sewer and it is kind of indicating a what am i even doing also i thought well i definitely did that in the past i know it's possible to transition from scimitar to uh, to gliding okay you I just have to let go of the cemetery button sooner. That might give me enough height to sail all the way across to get that squid, for what it's worth. Although I don't know if you if you don't start lose uh, if you don't, <laughs> don't start losing height uh, pretty quickly after a while. Okay, and that's a little bit yeah. See, you start dropping off faster the further you travel. So I don't know. Maybe if I get him to fly and then don't bounce away from him. Problem is also oh, and there I somehow didn't start gliding. It's kind of annoying, honestly. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. I think I'll need something else. So this was unfortunately a bit pointless. I still cannot. Kill those guys before they transform into a box. Thank you. I also did get a lobster tail on the way here from one of these uh, scarecrows. So that was nice. And I guess I don't need to be recording right now, but on the other hand, this is going to be pretty quick. And we're going to make our way to the next island instead and see what we get there. Maybe it's going to be that bash move that I was... I've been told so much about, and maybe that's gonna open up new things. I don't know if it's gonna allow me to get to that cackle bed in the desert, or below the desert. It might, well, depending on how it exactly it works. If it's just a continuous bash, a uh, continuous dash, where you sprint really quickly until you bum bump into a wall, which you then break or tackle at least. Um, it could allow me to uh, travel across those crumbly floors in the desert. And uh, depending on how powerful the impact is, it might also remove that um, that great block of stone that was blocking the cackle bed there. Although, oh, wow, we also have exactly 300. I was not looking at my money. So that's, uh, that's a fortunate coincidence. I would like to buy more pirate players eventually, but I can't really bring myself to not first spend everything on permanent upgrades, so... yes. Is this even faster? Honestly, I can't really see a difference. I'm already mashing as, as fast as I can, but... I'm, I'm gonna assume that it's actually a little bit faster. Uh, sure. Right, I'm still missing something there. Nothing here. One squid. Two squids and that cackle bag. At least we know where that is. In fact, do I... Yes, I also know where one of those squids is. Right, 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 right. Um, mud Bog Island. I mean, from the icon, it really doesn't look like a mud bog at all. More like a fiery, demonic pit. I don't know. But we'll see. Land Ho, welcome to Mud Bog Island. It smells kind of bad. We've cut off three-fifths three of the Pirate Master's power. He's sure to have noticed by now. Even from the grave, he'll attempt to impede our progress somehow. But enough of that. We have something more to discuss. Oh? I think I've figured out the origin of the dark magic. How? Process of elimination. When the genies defeated the pirate master, they had to drain themselves completely to get the job done. They reduced him to mere ash and bone. Without magic to sustain them, the genies faded from this world. No more genies with their light magic. No more pirate master with his dark magic. Just you. Me? When I borrowed your magic to suit my purposes, I made a wish, remember? You took over my magical half and used it for evil. So you turned it into dark magic. That's right. But I destroyed it after that. Perhaps, perhaps not. It's more likely that you scattered the magic. Why would you say that? Because magic can never be truly destroyed, can it? I don't know. 
<laughs> yeah. Not long after that encounter, the curse placed upon my men began to take effect, indicating that a new source of dark magic had been found. <gasps> Whatever the magic's origin, we can worry about it later. You've got another den of evil to find. Well, I mean, if there ever was a place that seemed to have a den of evil, or more than one, it's certainly this island. Could this be true? The pirate master's using my magic? Let's go. Well, now it's personal, I guess. Not that it wasn't before. Yeah, okay, this place looks pretty nasty. Pretty buggy. Monster milk. From a bug. Okay. They shoot little flares in the air. Interesting move. Come on. Come on down. I almost got all three. Oh, um, okay. Was there any indication? These look similar to... Yeah, yep, yep, yep. These definitely look similar to some endgame monsters from... I think the Game Boy game? Not the previous one. Is there any indication? Any? No, there is not. Oh, yes, there... There is. Oh my god, that's sneaky. Just a tiny little bit of purple pixels on the ground. Oh god. And you just respawned. Cool. This place is pretty nasty, I guess. And there's still two more islands to go after this? Hmm. Oh. I, I'm crawling through this insect. I was not expecting that. Also, I don't know if that does anything for me. Why the heck is that a thing? To avoid this, but they're killable here. They were completely undamageable in the Game Boy game. Please come out again. Oh, okay. Thankfully, I can kill them pretty quickly thanks to my damage upgrades, so that's nice. I definitely take a quite a bit of damage. There's gotta be something hidden inside of one of these eventually, right? Oh. Also, I was trying to... to control the game and not completely mess up. No. I was trying to do one of these. Oh. Okay, that's satisfying, but that the damage obviously isn't quite there. Which makes sense, because I didn't upgrade it at all. Oh, those are worth so many gems. Really nice. Yes, I know. I'm dying. Uh, flash pops? Sure. I don't really have a use for those, and they heal for almost nothing, so... Is there any purpose to this? What could it be? I could theoretically drop down, but I can't, so... Also, enemies sometimes respawn really quickly. Why are you all the way up there? I can't even reach you. Spider, would you like to come back down? Okay. Probably best, best to just ignore most of them. Thank you for the save point. Hmm. I didn't see anything that looked... Yeah, I mean, the map displays a completely straight path, which of course doesn't say, uh, doesn't say much. Um, but I didn't see anything that looked suspiciously like it would you know, be breakable or otherwise be hiding something. Nope. Um, no. Pirate Flare. That's useful. Thank you. Okay, there's... Yep. I saw it this, this time. Ahead of time. And that one didn't drop a tremendous amount of gems. Hmm. I wonder why they sometimes do. Well, there's something above, which obviously I cannot reach quite yet. So maybe this is where we get the, well, either the bash or the high jump, if that exists. Oh, this sh this is not hidden at all. Very easy to get. Um, this is also a bit of an awkward spot to be fighting. And yes, I'm almost dead. Okay. Yeah, that was oddly out in the open. But that's okay. Me chunk lid. I, I mean, 
I'm not gonna find that much more health, so might as well. A little bit more. And a flash pop. Meh. Okay. I won't be able to get those spiders. Ow. Ooh. Thanks for that one heart, at least. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Should have moved. I could have, too. But nope. Okay. Spider, you're kind of inconvenient to reach. You guys sometimes like to appear out of nowhere. I was really hoping for that guy to just do a head dive into the abyss. I wonder if they can. Give me that. Beyond this gate, ah, the village of lost souls. Lost souls? It's a place ah, separate from those who are living and those who have moved on. Ah, you may not enter this place. What's this? Ah, of course, it's where need the death mask. Stop. Huh? I sense something new. Ah, I did not detect it before. You suffered much in life and caused the suffering of others as well. Mm, did I, though? I mean, I guess, maybe. Ah, your burden is heavy indeed. I sound awful. You may enter the village of lost souls. You will forget your suffering and misdeeds. Ah, and remain there for all of time. Uh, can we talk this over again? Entering is fine, but staying forever? I'm not sure about that. Okay, now I can move again. You may enter. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not like there is any other way. So, eh, I guess I'll worry about a way out later. Is this the dungeon, actually, of this place? The Den of Evil? Ah, wow, enemies are tanky. And... I guess I'm gonna need hmm, that that bash to break into that from the side. Unless there is a way from below. Could be, of course. Super monster milk. Okay. They drop good stuff occasionally, I guess, so there's that. What's the map say? The map says there's a square I haven't explored here. Oh, in fact, oh, I can almost get that. Nope. Oh, that was that would have been so nice if that would have worked. Come on. I'm sure that's that must be possible, right? Ah. Probably not worth it, because I obviously will be able to go there officially at some point. Ah, come on. I'm trying to activate the scimitar. I guess it takes a little while to to actually go up. Oh well. I'm sure it can be done, but it's probably not worth for me to keep trying. Someone more skillful has probably done it before. You guys? Who the heck are you? My blue coin, where is it? Green coin, let me guess. Uh huh. I must keep searching for my green coin, even if it takes forever. I need my red coin. Must have it. Okay, Mr. Robot. I feel like I've seen you, but wait, that's Rotty Tops. Right? That absolutely is Rotty Tops. Welcome, friend, to the Village of Lost Souls. What's your name? You look familiar somehow. I have no idea who I am. But thank you ever so much for asking. Oh my gosh, you're... Uh, that is... How did you become... How did you come to be in this village, friend? Ah, I don't know. Nobody knows why they got here. How they got here. 
We're all just here. All I know is that I'm alone. That's so sad. I'm only truly happy when I'm asleep. When I sleep, it's like I'm transported to another world why, where I'm with a family. But when I wake up, I can't remember them anymore. If only I could remember. She needs help. This sounds kind of serious. Hmm. I mean, sure. Not really sure what I could do about her problem, though. Okay, these are the variety that shoot multi arrows. Lobster tail, thank you. Hmm, right. Okay, more of these gray stone blocks that are obviously more sturdy than the red ones. Okay, I'm gonna have to break into that somehow, and that worked. What did that do? Oh, right. Didn't even see those rocks there. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's active now. Yeah, come on. Jesus. It takes so many hits. Imagine doing that without any upgrades? Holy crap. That's five hits? Oh, okay. Wait. That... How did that help? How does that help? That doesn't help. What? Huh? That's completely... Completely unnecessary. The heck? Um. Unless. No? Wait. No. Yeah, I don't get it. That is odd. You weren't in there before. Did you actually jump up into that cage? Huh. Okay, what does this switch actually do? does not seem to affect this thing. It does move the cage over. Uh, this, this must serve a purpose, though. Right? I guess... Hmm. Okay. Should be able to reach that. Shouldn't I? Uh. Ah, come on. So close. I guess I can't. Huh. Oh, wait, really? There we go. That's close. That almost seems a little bit too tight. But I guess it's for one of these, so. I guess maybe you are supposed to do that. Although, if there really is a higher jump upgrade or something like that. Of course, it would be much easier with that. So, um, I appreciate that I was able to do it like this. And let's eat a bento box, I guess. Yeah, that's nice. Tasty treats? For... Did I never eat one of those before? Is that for having eaten one of every kind? You just jump up there, yeah. You just do. Okay. Fair enough, I suppose. Oh. Ah, oh, man. Gotta stop doing that. Where? I guess I've decided to move in this direction, but I think there was something else in a different direction as well. Um, okay. I'm assuming it cannot be hurt at all, just like the water variety. Nope. Okay. Ah, please just. Enemies are awkward. There's another one that came out of the wall. I guess that's not so unusual for ghosts. Yeah, no, there's nothing there. Oh, I broke something. I broke something. Oh, that is super sneaky. Wow. Can I... Where am I? Oh. Okay, that was just a, a ledge that's slightly above ground level, so you can't crawl into it. Okay. Grim Reapers. Right. Thankfully, they don't take that many hits. 
Um, okay. That was faster than expected, though. What? Come on. Super Pike Ball. I haven't gotten one of those in a while. Uh, I guess I'll actually have another one of these. Okay, and they just respawn immediately. Good to know. So they're mostly an obstacle to be just avoided. No real point in trying to fight them. Okay, nothing here. Nothing here. But I'm, I am a little bit worried about these random breakable floors that were not indicated in the slightest. The game is... Uh, started getting serious, huh? Fight room? Mm, maybe? Suspiciously empty so far. Oh, okay. Of course, we're looking for these three coins. Huh. But there's really nothing else in this room? I can't believe that. There's gotta be something. There's that empty space right there. Hmm. Well, maybe it's reachable from the from the big room above. Nope. Just ignore them. Oh wow! Wow! Thanks for all the lobster tails. I guess that's uh appreciated. I also kind of need them. Um, As it turns out. Give me the money. Ah, oh, so close. This thing, man. This is this is really puzzling me. It's a perfect height to be standing on this. And then write it down. So weird. It would make sense if there were breakable floor below it. So you can't break it while the platform is there blocking it. But... Yeah, I don't know. Also... I guess... If I'm eventually able to break those... Oh, right. Of them over here. I mean, obviously this leads to the squid, but these are just for convenience, I guess? Unless there's another purpose for wanting to break through there. They could be. Hmm. I guess I can give you your coin? Yay! Now find the other gamers' coins. Oh, these are the gamers. Huh. Okay, I did not make that connection at all. Three hardcore gamers. Hmm. Okay. Sure. Oh, wait. That was... What is that big room? I was not even paying attention. Oh, it's this one. Oh. Okay. So maybe that empty space, if it's gonna fill, get filled in eventually, maybe there's a passage from where the squid is, sneakily. Or maybe there's another way. I suppose if I do get that bash move that the big guy in town was talking about, uh, also... I have an almost full heal. And save here. Um, yeah, if, if that move exists and does what I think it does and is to be found here, then of course that might open up all kinds of ways. Okay, we got more Reapers. In fact, we got a full room full of them. Hmm, oh, wait. I see. Alright, that's not so bad. Hmm. Could there be something on the on the sides? I mean there could be. Oh. You only rise up in the very middle. This is a kill room, right? What, what is this? 
Hmm, looks like there used to be a fire here. Okay. I don't think I can light a fire. Oh. Just like that? Okay. That was easy. This is a death pit. It's not. Oh. At least down here. Um, there used to be a fire there. Wow. Really. Wow. Okay, you guys. Cut it out. Uh, and it is marked... That room is marked with a white square. So there's something supposed to be going on there. Hmm. Is this a final coin? What is this? Who's at the door? You smell pretty and sweet. Don't you know this is the oubliette of suffering? The deepest, darkest place in the village of lost souls? It's for stinky narrative wells only. Get lost. Oh, stinky. Do I need to turn myself stinky so I can enter that? What is going on? Also, I didn't notice something similar um, near the first coin I found, so... Did I miss something, or...? Huh. Very mysterious. As for now, I'm gonna return, because I was certainly not expecting to find all those uh, coins so quickly. I found all your coins. We should play a game. Uh, I'm already playing a game. Talk to the blue gamer so we can start the game. You know what? Maybe I'm gonna do that next time. It's a bit of a shorter episode, but who knows what this leads to, and obviously we're not... We can't possibly be anywhere near done with this place. So, um... Let me just quickly eat one of these. Which heals for less than I expect. Um... And, yeah, I'm gonna take a break here, and we're gonna check out what those gamers are all about next time on Shantae and the Pirates Curse. <laughs> so, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye!